welcome back to Russler Transmission Disassembly and Reassembly. Alright, what you're going to want to do is, with your newly reassembled differential, you are going to want to um, put it back in the transmission. In this case, means put the four screws back in. Make sure when you tighten these screws down, if you're going to make them real tight, you go in a star pattern, so that keeps the chan that keeps a differential face from warping. I like to get them all snug, and then when they're all snug, tighten them down. That way, it makes sure you don't warp the differential. So that's bad. That'll mean you know, gears will wear out real fast. Make sure when you tighten them that they are flush so that the outside of this is smooth so that it doesn't rub. Alright, now that all those are tight, you have a di reassembled differential. Make sure when you spin this that this spins freely or else you mess something up. Okay, now take your differential half that you just took apart, put this differential back in there. Okay, make sure, see how the differential only has teeth on one side? Make sure these teeth go down towards these two gears. Then you take your other half of your differential side and put them together. Okay, now you have your reassembled differential case. Spin this shaft, make sure everything spins nice and freely. Make sure you didn't accidentally leave like a screw or something in there. You've done it before. Okay, then make sure you put the short screws where the short screws go. The only long screw goes in this back piece right here. That should be the only spot for a long screw. Otherwise, just put them all back in where they went. Alright, just tighten all these screws. Get right back to you after I'm done. I'm back. All these screws have been almost all the way put in. Okay, you're going to want to tighten these in a star shaped pattern, just like you did the ones in the back. Tighten one in the back, move to the one in the front. Then move to the one on either side, either this side or that side. Moved one up here on the other side. Then you can tighten this one. Tighten this one. And then last, you tighten the one in the middle. Make sure after you're done tightening all these screws, make sure they're pretty snug. They don't need to be super tight. I oh, missed one. Make sure everything still spins nice and freely, or else you've got something in there binding. Alright, you remember the piece of tape we took off the bottom? Okay, in this case I saved this one. Alright, it's nice tape. You want to put this right back where it went. It doesn't need to be stuck on very well, it just needs to make a pretty good seal, because this is going to be sitting flat on the car. Make sure you got that piece of tape back on. So that seals up the transmission, keeps dirt and stuff from getting in it. Alright, next you're going to want to put your motor back in. Or er, spur gear first. Alright, put in the little pin 
that. There you go, this little guy. Put in this little pin in your input drive shaft. Then put this piece on. It's got the it's a cast piece with the vents on the back. Put it on, make sure that slot lines up with your pin. Alrighty. Now you put your slipper plate on. Make sure it lines up with the smaller teeth. How? This, this thing, there's the there's larger teeth and smaller teeth. Make sure the little pins in there line up with the smaller teeth, or else you have a lot of slop, and that's not good. That will break it more than the clutch will save it. Okay, it should look something like that. Then you're going to want to put this on. That's this is big spur gear. Okay, you put that on. Make sure it spins with that pretty freely. Okay, then you're going to want to put it in this order the spring and then the nut. Tighten it down. Uh, factory specs are tighten it down until it's bottomed out and then add another and then back it out a quarter of a turn. Um, with the motor I'm running, I'm backing it out about a third of a turn. Um, because it's this motor is a little bit tougher, a little bit more violent on the transmission. You you want to be able to put the car on the ground, set, hold the wheels, and run the motor, and the motor should run under a lot of load, but it should still be spinning. If it's not spinning, you've got it too tight, and if it spins really fast, you've got it too low. Okay, that is about right. Right about like that. All right, now you're going to want to put your motor back in. First, put this top screw in. Then put the bottom screw in. See how this one moves. Set. We'll set the gear pitch later. Okay. Your motor will have a set of holes here and a set of holes there. Make sure when you put it on that you put the holes somewhere where you can put the screw in because you cannot see the holes when you're putting the screws in. I want to do the top one first because it's easiest. Make sure you do not tighten the top one. You just get it in. Like here's tight. Back it out a couple turns. Okay. And then you're going to want to put your bottom one in. Depending on what gearing you're running. If you're running a real big gear. Or a real big pinion gear. You're going to want to put it in the second hole. Which is the furthest that way. If, you've, if you're running a medium or smaller gear. You're going to want to put it in that hole. Not real important for the stock gears you can put in either hole, but if you're running a weird sized gear, you're going to want to make sure you get that right. Alright, now you got to put your pinion gear back on the motor. Make sure when you put your pinion gear on that this shaft is with the stock motor it sticks out a little. If you're running a mod motor, the shaft will be pretty short. You're going to want to keep that on there. Tighten down the little set screw on the pinion gear. Yep. Alright, now setting gear pitch. You're going to want to get a piece of, for the smaller teeth. This is 48 pitch. For the smaller teeth, you're going to want to use like a piece of thin paper, like a magazine. Alright, I'm back. All these screws.